This is a tutorial on how to shampoo, detangle, and blow dry hair, only combing once with no tears. First, we begin to saturate the hair. African American hair is typically pretty dry, so we want to do the saturating process for a while. Make sure every strand is hydrated. We'll be using a generous amount of shampoo. You can use moisturizing shampoo or clarifying shampoo for this step. I'm gently scratching the client's scalp to ensure we get all the dead skin, oil, and dandruff. This step should be really relaxing to the client not aggressively scratching or irritating the scalp. As you can see, my client is falling asleep. Now you rinse all the shampoo and product out. I'm again gently scratching the scalp to make sure we're getting any buildup off until the water runs clear. After shampoo, you'll use a generous amount of conditioner. I'm applying the conditioner to every hair strand. Now, I will be detangling the client's hair. I'm using my fingers to part. I'm going to do four sections. While combing the hair, I am holding the section firm at the base so the client does not feel the tangles or any discomfort. with the conditioner and making sure there are no more tangles. After I combed out the section still with the product in the hair, I will be braiding this section. The braid does not have to be perfect. We just want to separate the sections with the product still in the hair. We're going to repeat this step four times, making three more sections. I've completed two sections. This is the third section. Again, holding the section at the base while I'm combing so the client doesn't feel any discomfort. Repeating the same process, braiding the section while the conditioner is still in the hair. This is the last section. four sections braided. I am rinsing the product out with the braid still in the hair. I'm rinsing the product out with the braids in the hair so the detangled sections remain separated. Rinsing step may take a little longer because we have conditioner on the hair and we want to make sure we rinse we all of the product rinse. out each section individually to make sure the product is out of each braid. Repeat this until the water runs clear. After rinsing, I'm going to 
to squeeze the excess water out of the sections together. Squeeze out as much water as possible before I towel dry. And we still have our four sections braided and separated and detangled. dry before blow drying. Here we have our four sections separated and detangled. You can use any oil or cream for this step to make sure we're hydrating the hair again, locking in moisture. While the hair is wet, it's easier for the product to penetrate the hair strand. down I'm blow drying while the hair is still braided working with children they don't like you to manipulate their hair too much that's why I only use the comb once I'm not gonna use my fingers to take down the braids I'm gonna use the blow dryer to take down the braids again holding the section at the root so the client does not feel any discomfort blow drying the hair until the section is completely dry. This process does take a while. You want to ensure that the hair is nice and smooth, no tangles, and completely dry. sections and now I'm blow drying them together making sure we don't have any tangles. This is now the last section. I'm repeating the same step holding the hair at the base as I'm blow drying or combing it out. Have the finished product shiny clean detangled hair hope we've made wash day easy for mom and client thank you